Thousands have lived without love, not one without water. With this most inspirational quote, this is Ms. Anupama welcoming you all on Ms. Anupama's channel. So my dear friends and students, after a long break, I'm back with one more video. So I'm sorry for that. Due to some health issues, I was not able to upload the videos, but now I'll be able to. And today in this session, my dear friends and students, we are going to learn about a new subject, new lesson and new topic. Okay. And the subject which we are going to learn today is the uh, EVS one that is environmental study one. And it is a science subject. Okay. And lesson number four, water safe for drinking. Okay. So water is life, my dear students. So save water, save life. And this will be the, this uh, video, uh, this session will be the part one because it's a little lengthy lesson and experiment also we are going to have it. So this will be the part one and this lesson will be in uh, like two to three parts I'm going to make. Okay. And in this session, in this video, what we are going to learn, what subtopics we are going to learn are this. Okay. The first subtopic is try this. Okay. Try this. This is an uh, experiment. Okay. We are going to have in this uh, session, only the theory we are going to discuss and learn. But in my next video, try this will be the like experimental, okay, practical will have that. And the second subtopic which we are going to learn in this session is a new term. What new term is given in the lesson that we are going to have, okay, that we are going to discuss. And the third one, do you no. Okay. Do you know? So these three subtopics we are going to discuss and learn in this session. Okay, my dear friends and students. Chalo, let's get start our session. Okay, my dear friends and students. We shall begin our session now. Lesson number four, water safe for drinking. So my dear friends, I told you before only that water is our life. Okay. Without water, we are not able to imagine a life on the earth. Okay. So try this this experiment you have to try now here as you can see in the picture okay some glasses are kept in that water and some substances are given to us so we have to do some experiment with the substances now try this take a glass half full of water okay you have to take glass half full of water Add a spoonful of sugar to it and stir it with a spoon. Okay. What you have to do? You have to take a half full of water. You have to add a spoonful of sugar. Sugar manje shakkar. Okay. Sugar ka matlab hota hai shakkar. So, after taking a half full of water in a glass, you have to take a spoonful of sugar. Uh, sugar to it and stir it with a spoon okay you have to put that spoonful of sugar in that water and you have to stir means chamse se us shakkar ko paani me hilalo okay then see what change takes place then you have to see okay after stirring the uh, sugar into the water you have to see you have to have your observation what changes takes place repeat this experiment with each of the substance mentioned below okay now here only uh, first uh, he said to add sugar stir it and you have to see so what happens my dear students sugar disappears okay upon stirring in uh, it with a spoon this means sugar that sugar is dissolved in water. Okay, dissolve means it disappears, it melts. Okay, it disappears into the water. Okay, understood? Now repeat this experiment with each of the substance mentioned below. Wash the glass clean every time you take the next substance. So here certain substances you have to take. And each time when you are adding the substance into the glass, you have to wash the glass thoroughly properly. Okay. So what substances you said to take first? First sugar we finished, okay? With the sugar, we tried this experiment, okay? So what he said, take a half full of water in a glass, add a spoonful of sugar, then stir it with a spoon, okay? Then what changes it takes place? Sugar disappears, okay? Sugar disappears upon stirring it with a spoon. And this means that sugar 
dissolves okay sugar dissolves in water these are now in this lesson my dear students you are coming up with a new words new terms you are going to listen so listen it carefully the proper pronunciation of the words and later on i'll be explaining you the uh, meaning of that words also okay so dissolvents it disappears it totally disappears in water so now he said certain substances also you have to take and with this substances you have to try this experiment a uh, turn by turn first he said to take common salt okay common salt means khane ka namak honey okay honey washing soda पाउडर एलम ओके एलम वो जो होता है ना कि व्हाइट कलर का होता है जो पानी को क्लीन करता है मराठी तुम अपन तुरटी बोलतो ओके सैंड देन व्हीट फ्लॉर देन सॉडस्ट टर्मरिक पाउडर एंड सम ऑइल दिस थिंग्स यू हैव टू टेक एंड यू हैव टू मेक द एक्सपेरिमेंट ओके ओके देन माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स जस्ट लिसन वॉट डू यू सी शुगर सॉल्ट वॉशिंग सोडा एलम डिसअपियर्स इन वॉटर ओके शुगर मतलब शक्कर सॉल्ट ओके वॉशिंग सोडा एलम डिसअपियर्स इट डिजोल्व इन द वॉटर दे डिजोल्व कंप्लीटली इन द वॉटर बट सैंड सॉडस्ट टर्मरिक पाउडर ऑइल डिड नॉट डिसअपियर इवन ऑन स्टरिंग दे डो नॉट डिसअपियर ओके दे डो नॉट डिजोल्व okay they do not dissolve in water what does this tell us some substance dissolves in water while some substance do not okay so some substance here like seven to eight substances are given among the seven eight substances some substances that dissolve in water and some they does not okay some some substances that do not dissolve in water like following substances they do not dissolve in water even after stirring continuously like sand wheat flour sawdust turmeric powder some oil they come to uh, so by this we come to know that from this experiment that with certain substances we can form the solution now what is a solution okay now this is a new term which you are going to learn in this lesson okay so some substances dissolve in water stirring like sugar common salt washing soda and then powder alum and honey they dissolve in water okay they dissolve completely while stirring with the spoon but there are certain substances that do not dissolve in water okay like sand wheat flour sawdust turmeric powder and some oil okay now we'll see the next now here you can see the substance that dissolve in water spreads throughout the water the substances that dissolve in water they spread throughout the water when salt dissolves in water the water in the container tastes salty naturally okay the taste of the salt is salty so when it when we add it into the water naturally the water turns into salty okay the taste of the water changes okay in water the water in the container tastes salty when sugar dissolves the water tastes sweet okay understood when we add salt the water changes the taste of the water changes into salty as well as when we add sugar the water tastes as sweet okay so next new term what is it okay friends here? so the new term a new term which is here given to you is a solution okay now this word you must have been heard in your max subject also okay problem is given you have to solve okay the solution you have to find out now here also the word solution means not that problem solution okay so here solution means what s o l u t i o n solution when a substance dissolve in water substances like any item okay anything which dissolve in water the mixture of that substance and water is formed this mixture is called the solution of that substance now here yeah as i told you that uh, if you take sugar salt so salt sugar they, these are the substances which dissolves in water 
okay and like sugar and water when they dissolve in water after a stirring that substance completely dissolve and what that uh, thing we get included into the water that is called the solution the mixture which we get after mixing some substance into the water that is called the solution okay so solution is nothing but the mixture which is called the solution of that substance like when a sugar we added into the water and that when water is mixed with that sugar or salt that substance in the water is formed and this mixture is called the solution of that substance understood yeah now here you can see a boy is in the hospital he is on the uh, bed and here you can see one hanger and something is going okay so what is this if someone gets loose motions okay loose motions we give them a solution okay so when any person gets loose motions so that person is given a solution and the solution is of salt and sugar to drink this solution is called ors or oral dehydration solution that is called ors means the full form of ors is oral dehydration dehydration solution a patient in a hospital is sometimes put on saline okay upon in general we call it as a as a saline okay glucose also we can say that is on a solution of salt in water sometimes other medicines may also be given through saline okay sometimes okay when you are sick when you are getting loose motions vomiting okay dehydration condition that time this saline is given and uh, some antibiotics or some medicines are also been given with this saline okay through this saline to the patient so these are examples of useful solution these are the examples of useful solution now solution means some substance which mix completely with water the substance are set to dissolve in water okay when a substance dissolve in water then the mixture formed of water and that substance is a substance is called a solution some substance do not dissolve in water they do not form the solution okay the substance which do not dissolve in water so that in that case that solution is not called as a form of a solution the taste of solution is due to the substance which dissolve in the water for example salt and sugar ors are oral dehydration solution is the solution made by dissolving certain amount of salt or sugar in water ors is given to the patient suffering from loose motion or vomiting saline given to the patient in hospital in the salt condition is the salt con, uh, solution containing medicines it is directly injected into the blood stream yes my dear students now we are on page number 21 do you know sea water is salty to taste because it is nothing but a solution of salt that occurs naturally we cannot use sea water for drinking okay we cannot use sea water for drinking water of different wells may have different taste why why is that so some substances from the ground dissolve in the water they give a taste to the well water but if there is nothing dissolved in water water has no taste when we remove the lid of the soda water bottle bubbles fizz out of it to make soda water a gas called carbon dioxide is dissolved in water under pressure when the lid is removed the pressure reduces and the gas bubbles out okay now listen my dear students okay sea water is a natural solution of salt water okay sea water is a natural naturally made okay solution of the salt water no one is going to add water salt in that sea okay it's a natural solution therefore sea water taste uh, water is uh, salty to taste okay understood this point some substances from the ground dissolve in well water and hence taste hence taste of different wells water is different so the carbon dioxide gas is dissolved under pressure 
to make soda water okay understood my dear students this was the part 1 of the lesson number 4 water safe for drinking okay so now in my next video i will be coming up with an experiment of this things okay how how the substance can dissolve in water what solution uh, we get we are going to see in the next video okay so my dear students please do watch my all the videos till the end and please do like share subscribe and tap the bell icon so that you'll get the notification of my upcoming videos and uh, keep yourself safe at home keep smiling keep learning and thank you for watching and listening